Hey everyone, my name is Kirsten. I'm a technical educator intern here at Web3 Foundation. And today we're going to be talking about non-transfer proxies. So non-transfer proxies are created for the purposes of any transaction except for balance transfers. This means when you have an account attached to your user primary account or stash account, that has some small funds on there to complete transactions. When the primary account calls the non-transfer proxy function, a new account is made. That new account created becomes the non-transfer proxy. All right, so now we're going to be taking a look on how to set up a non-transfer proxy. First thing that you want to make sure um, is that you're on the correct URL, so pogadoc.js.org slash apps, as you can see here. And currently I'm on the accounts page. So if you go to accounts and select accounts, that's where this page will show up. Um, all right, so to set up a non-transfer proxy, we're gonna head over to developer, extrinsics, and it's gonna load up this page for us. So the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna select the user primary account or the stash account that we wanna send funds to, or that we wanna send funds, funds from. So I'm going to choose this account and then we want to call the proxy palette that will load in all of the proxy functions associated with this palette. And we're going to leave it to add proxy. And this will add on our non-transfer proxy. So our delegate here, this is going to be our proxy account. So our non-transfer proxy account. So I'm going to choose this one. And then for the proxy type, we want to make sure that we choose non-transfer because we want a non-transfer proxy. And this delay right here is referring to a time delay proxy, which allows a proxy to be set so that the delegated account, so this one, is required to announce their action uh, some period before they actually do it. Um, so this is completely optional, um, but for the purpose of this example, I won't be adding on a time delay to my proxy. And then I would hit submit transaction, unlock it with my password, and then sign and submit. Perfect. And that is how you set up a non-transfer proxy. One way that you can use your non-transfer proxy is using it through nominating. So currently I'm on the staking page. So if you head to network and click on staking, I'm currently underneath the accounts action tab. So with my non-transfer proxy account, I can set up the proxy account as a nominator using the small funds on my proxy account to nominate. And that is just one example of how you can use non-transfer proxy accounts um, in Polkadot. Um, I hope you learned a little bit about non-transfer proxies in this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.